Welcome back. It's Q&A week. Got a great question here from Mike in Illinois. Not Illinois, Illinois. Uh, Mike's question, he says, I've been watching YouTube Q&As in the Midwest. Number three and four were very relevant to tying large flies to smallmouth, largemouth bass. Articulation gives us a way to build larger flies and develop action. I do notice that your trout streamers mount dumbbell eyes so that the hook rides point down while bass flies like clousers are weighted ride point up. What are your thoughts on inverted hook points for streamers? It's a great question and honestly it's one that I get constantly. I probably get that question once a week I would say <clears throat> because it, it is I mean it, it seems relative that uh, one of the best flies in history the clouser minnow uh, rides point up and I want to go over a couple things about it first and foremost the main reason I think and, and I do believe this and anybody that's ever seen my seminars will know I say it all the time I, I've seen very few flies that are better at hooking fish than a clouser minnow I have no, it's like glue uh, Bob popped this one out of the ballpark with this fly but there's other things about it that make it so effective one if you take a clouser, an average clouser minnow, it's small. This is a small fly, and they were never really big. And But I will also tell you one other thing about this, the small fly, and, the, and when they got bigger, is that they never really got big hooks either, because Bob knew that the fish was going to eat the head, and the hook was up front. You don't get as much torque either. But the big thing about these flies is that they're not big. This fly, when a fish comes up, eats it, the whole fly goes down his mouth, and at which point you got to see where the hooks, you know, it goes in the flies like this, gets sucked into the fish's mouth. Most of the time when I get a fish on a clouser, it's still in the bottom part of the fish's mouth. And that's a relative point because if you look over here, I've got this little fish that I'm working on right now. And you see the mouth. And it's about, for me, it's about the structure of the mouth. There's a lot more on the lower mandible, a lot more structure, a lot more deviations that a hook could get hung up on. If you look at the top of a mouth, bass or trout, it's relatively smooth in comparison. So that was one of the reasons. And we do use a lot of dumbbell eyes. And I almost always invert my flies and put them on the bottom. And most of the reason is because I like the fact that the lower the hook is, or the, on the lower jaw, the more there is to get the hook in if it's on the lower part. If I invert it, now I've got a smoother part of that hook. But that's not the real reason I do it. Most of the reason is, is because we fish our flies fast and we seldom drag our flies. You can take a clouser, a zonker style that's upside down, you got a lot of weeds, it's going to ride a little bit, you know, you're less likely to hook up. But we're, fit, we're retrieving our flies pretty fast. And so when the fish comes up, he's coming from the bottom and he ambushes the hook. He hits the fly from the bottom like this and he eats it and I want it in that lower mandible. So I, I build this into it on purpose. I want that hook point down. If you want to invert it, that's fine. You just got to make sure when you do that, that you understand that the weight of the eyes have to offset the weight. If you're going to, especially, this is a little angler fly, this, or angler fish. I mean, this fly has two hooks as do most of my flies. And so you have to make sure that those eyes are heavy enough to keep that fly inverted and it doesn't end up getting, you know, the weight of these hooks don't start pulling you off to the side. Your fly's riding sideways now. So if you're going to do it, make sure you compensate to make sure they're heavy enough. But the reason I don't do it is because I seldom make a fly get close to bottom. I seldom fish them into the depths and, like, drag them on the butt. I mean, next to never do I do that. And if I, if I was, then, of course, a clouser would be a great option. But for me personally, because the way I fish and the way most of us out here fish... Or, or back, you know, I'm from Michigan, everybody knows that, and when I was back there, lots of structure. I still prefer these hooks. I still prefer to hook down because of the structure of the fish's mouth. So the reason I don't do it is because of the way I fish them. If I was fishing slow and dragging a lot, I'd probably have a tendency to invert them a little bit more than I do, which is very, very seldom. So, great question. Thanks, Mike. Remember, if you send in your question, it's Christmas and I'm in a great mood because I'm a really jolly guy. And so this time, if you win, I'm going to give you a week's stay and two weeks worth of free guides. No, no, I'm not. 
giving you a box of flies and a hat, just like always. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas, everybody. Hope that helps you out.